five things you need to know before playing criminality. So for the first thing I'm going to be covering is the the glowing tint of the safes. So if you go in the cafe and you're trying to loot the safe and you don't know how if it's ready or not to be opened, you can see the red glowing tint and in the back of back of the cafe or you can just third person peek through the wall like this. This is how I like to grind to like know if my safes are ready. So if uh do you know if the, t the safe in this little apartment building is ready if there's a glowing tent here? I'll, let me open it up real quick. Alright, so I just opened up the safe and now you can see there's no red glowing tent. And that's how we know if it's opened or not. And if you come here over at Factory, you can hardly see it, but there's a red glowing tent right here as well. You kind of can't see it, but there's a kind of a color difference as you can see my paid actor here right right bro actor right yeah 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 now shut your ass up all right so i'm gonna be testing recoil out on him and uh yeah as you can see if you aim in as a gun goes up that's recoil my paid actor was being quite unusual today so I had to do I had to tickle him a bit so uh, as you can see if you crouch down the crosshair uh, goes a lot smaller and if you don't crouch it, it gets wider and as you walk you can see that the bullet spread goes everywhere and so basically it's either you crouch down and you shoot or you just aim and shoot I do not recommend walking when shooting, so, yeah. Let me show you. If you aim at the foot, uh, obviously you can hit body shots, but if you aim at the chest, you can hit a, well, like one headshot, both the shots go to the chest. And yeah, that's really cool, control. Alright, so here we're going to be fighting, and a big thing while fighting is learning how to block. I'm like, what? Oh, shit, you're fucking laggy. By blocking, you can you can make uh, damn you're fucking hitting the shit out of me. I, as you can see there, I blocked his attack, and it stuns him for a good two seconds. You can do this with bat, and katana, and basically most of the weapons in the game. He's my paid actor is quite laggy, so he's yeah. beating me right now. Oh shit! Damn lag is really on his side. Oh damn! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> res me, <laughs> res me! <laughs> what the fuck? How the tables have turned, bit. <laughs> <laughs> Back again. For some, we had technical issues with our uh, editor. I mean, not our editor, our paid actor. All right, so we're gonna be fighting again. Take out your fists. Okay. Nah, right, let's go. And. Hitting three combos will uh, knock you out. As you see, you gave him a concussion. And uh, let's just do a simple 1v1. Come on, shot. Yeah. As you can see here, he's been downed. And also another thing is, step four, you can res people by holding R. As you can see, it looks like I'm looting him, but I'm not. I'm not trying to steal his money. Oh. I'll be showing y'all how I like to farm. So, I usually always use my type of farm methods to look at the red glowing tent and just go off that. So I typically go to cafe, then pizzeria, and then I, once I come back around, I usually um, just hit uh, thrift store, and then, yeah. 
I sometimes do this in low servers, but I suggest not to since high, high servers give you high, more money. And yeah, hit garage hideout, and then we're gonna go to Lego Pizza. Alright, so now we're that we're at Illegal Pizza, we're probably going to be hitting the hideout that's across from us uh, on top of Illegal Pizza. I forget what this place is called, but also here you can see there's a very large red glowing tent, that's how you know the safe is ready I always lock pick my doors I do not like breaking them down And as you can see, there's only like a little pool of, uh, it looks like there's just like a red, like, kind of dent in the wall. That's not the going tent, that I think that's a furnace, I'm not too sure, but that's how you know it's ready or not ready. And also, by the way, guys, if you get any guns or really any weak weapons like a sawn-off, Beretta or something like that, or even a bat, you can keep those, but if you get, like, high-tier weapons like Tommy Gun, uh, Mac, Uzi, or anything like that, you should sell it for, you could get, like, a good, decent amount of money from that. I think M19 gives you, like, 750, Uzi gives you, like, 8, 825 or something like that. But that's how I typically farm, I just sell any weapon I get. And alright, that concludes the video. I didn't cover most of how I grind, but <clears throat> as you can see, I gained like a good 6k, 6 grand from that. I was like at 980, uh, 9,000, I think it was like 9.8k, 9 I forget, fuck. 998k, that's what I was at, finally. But, um, that concludes it. I've only covered four parts, but, um, I guess for the fifth part is, uh, 
Uh, the toxicity in the game. If you're coming from the hood, fuck you. I don't care about you. You probably bring more toxicity into the game. If you're a rollbanger, I still don't care about you. Fuck you. If you're a furry, fuck you again. I don't care. <laughs>